we have in previous videos went through PS App Deployment Toolkit, so now you know a bit how it works, which files it's made up of, how it runs, that it writes a lot to the registry, and a bit some scenarios, and we're gonna soon use it. I'm just gonna speak about a specific issue related to Intune, and that is that when uh, you're running something in Intune, it's run under the session zero. It's the same session as a task sequence run in Configuration Manager. And what does that mean? That means that there is no graphical user interface. And that's a bit of a problem when you're running PS App Deployment Toolkit, because we rely on the users to say defer, close, go next and everything. So how can that be fixed? We're coming to that. For, before that, I just want to show in the task manager what it looks like, which processes run in session zero. We want it to run in session one, where users actually have the permission to click, or not really permission, where they actually see the gr graphical user interface. So I'm going to start the um, task manager by doing a control shift escape. So here we have a lot of processes running uh, on uh, my machine here, and I'm going to add an extra field here. So I'm going to right click and select a new column. And here we have session ID, and that's all the session ID that are zero won't be visible on my screen. So if we scroll, if we sort here on session ID uh, zero, for example, system, a lot of the SVC hosts run under session ID uh, zero. So that means we can't see them. But if we scroll down a bit more to one, here we can see, for example, I'm recording with the Camtasia Studio, that's definitely visible. And if I start a new process, let's say Notepad, uh, uh, notepad. Since I see Notepad, that's going to run in session one. So I'm going to sort that on name and put Notepad. So Notepad is running under session one. That means I can click on it, I can close the window. If it ran under session zero, I would not be able to do that. So how do we fix that? Well, Microsoft have a tool called serviceui.exe. If you start something with that, it will start in session one. So when we deploy with Intune and we want to use PS App Deployment Toolkit, we need this service UI.exe to start first our deployment dash um, application.exe and then it will start in session one instead of zero and then the user will be allowed to click on the button. So how do we get this service UI.exe? Well, it's part of the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. So let's download that. I'm gonna put the link in the description of this video, but it's easy to find. Download. It's called MDT, Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. So here we have it under Microsoft and this link I will put in the description. So go here. And we click here on download and there are two 64-bit and 32-bit. I'm going to choose 64-bit and you probably would do the same depending on your system, of course. So now it's gonna download this and then we're gonna install it. And this is a bigger framework where you actually can deploy a system uh, and it's totally free, but we're just gonna keep pick this little uh, service UI.exe file that we'll be needing. Perfect. Let's open this folder. Let's run this MSI file and let's install it. Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. So it's very easy. You just do next. We accept the license. We go next. We don't really need the documentation. So I'm going to remove that, but you can definitely keep it. Uh, looks like, can I choose to not install documentation? Well, let's keep it then. We, we get, we take all. Uh, I don't want to join this program. Just install it for me, please. Say yes. Perfect, so now it's installed. So I'm gonna to go to the root of C, program files, because it's a 64-bit. I think it's Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. And under there, we're gonna do under templates. And under templates, there is distribution. Under distribution, there are tools. And which tool? We want the x64 one. And here, there should be service UI. Here is our friend. It's only 73 kilobyte. So I'm going to copy this service UI.exe 
And let's go um, back to our uh, template on the root uh, of C. We have underscore Intune, template, manufacture software, and we're going to put it on the source. So we put it under here. So I'm going to do control V, paste it. Perfect. Now we have service UI. If we run service UI and then call deployment application, we're going to be in session one. And in session one, it's where the user actually can click on it. So if I would run this one in uh, session zero, which is thus default when it's executed by Intune, not when you run it locally on your machine, this won't be visible because this would run in session zero if we are not using service UI. So we can see that here. If we do again, um, task manager, I go details. And should I guess that it's called PS, PowerShell? Yes, here it's running under session one. That's why we see it. So if I defer, this one should disappear, but that's why we see it. Oh, and now that one is gone. Okay, so that's why we need service.ui file in order to run deployment application.exe in session one when we run it in Intune, which we're going to do later. Well done. Thank you very much. See you in next video.